Okay, tell us. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us, tell us, because you need to justify that one. Go ahead. Cult heroes, man. Here we go. Build My 11 edition, front three settings. Mm. We have put together our Build My 11 cult heroes. Yes. And so, all taking some time, thought about it dearly, because there's many in it. Many, 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 man. many, many, bro. And so here we go. It's time to build my eleven cult heroes. DSK, I come to you, big man. <sighs> what have you got? In goal. Yes, Petrosech. Ooh, hey, what a mad way to say that. Petrosech. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we say it where I'm from, isn't it? <laughs> Petrosech, you know, reading, 2006. Yeah. Get injured in the head. Has to play with a helmet. Has to iconic. Play with a helmet. Iconic, 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 you know iconic, what I mean? Very sure. iconic, yeah. And then he's an unsung hero of 2012. If Chelsea wins that Champions League, yeah, it's because of Petrochez. He saved the penalty in the extra he's time. He's a legend, though. What are you talking about? Check. Yeah. He's a legend. Yeah. He's a hero. Cult hero. A cult for, hero. For me, cult hero is a legend. It's different. No, cult hero because... Let me finish. Okay. Let me learn. Let me oh, learn. Sorry, Let sorry. me finish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Petro Sech, yeah? yeah. 2012, handsome sorry. hero, you know, because when you think about Petro Sech, yeah. you think about that. 2005 and that. You know what I mean? You think about that, I don't know, the, the, that guy, that low key guy that's here and that we all should like look up to, you know? Mm -hmm. Even in like, he plays drums. <laughs> he plays drums on his spare time, you know? That guy is just like someone that we all should look towards him because he's saving everyone. Yeah. But he's just a lucky guy, just chilling like this. And then I put, yeah, yeah, right back, yeah. <sighs> Benjamin Pavard. What happened, Benjamin Pavard? Benjamin Pavard. You what know? has he done? You know exactly what has he done? He's a random guy like this with curly hair, while you know a little boy like this, and then he gets called up for the French, uh, 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 in, uh, French national team in 2008. Nobody knows him. Yeah, scored a banging goal. Mm -hmm. Everybody singing his name, Benjamin <laughs> Started become the hero of the nation, mm. and then he signs to Bayern Munich. And you see the guy; he's just like I don't know. It's like the guy that, that can like give hope to anyone. Because I can look like, but you look like Benjamin Pavard. You can be a hero too. You can be a hero too. Hey, don't put me in Pavard. Don't, don't. I'm a different type of player. He's a nice looking dude. That's why I like. I put him as a hero because wow, like the story. I love. I love the yeah. story, man. You know. And then right next to him, I put Rudiger. Okay. okay. Rudiger. Hey, come on, man. That guy was booed by the Chelsea fans. Yeah. But he put in the work. Put in the work and became the guy that put his blood, sweat, and tears into everything. Big he character was, too. Big character, was the Massive last guy, character. was the last guy, always fighting, being there for the team. And then went to Madrid, bleed again, you know, yeah. and always has like, you know, when everything goes bad, Rudiger is there. Then that's why right next to him I put Chiellini. Same type of profile. Oh, yeah. Chiellini, there's a montage of him on Google. If you put Chiellini bleeding, you can see <laughs> there's like 12 pictures of him with a strap in there, an eye there, a nose bleeding and everything because this guy, when your team is down, it's going to be like, yeah, come on, come on, guy, he's going to be there and fight there and just give his blood, give everything. And right next to him, you know, I put Patrice Evra. Okay. Evra, okay. you but know, Evra, good, good guy, you know. In you know, France, do they call him Tonton Pat? At Pat, <laughs> Tonton Pat, right, avec Pogba as well, you know. It's like Evra, captain of United, you know. Par uh, Jixun, when he had his birthday, he went to his house, a really nice guy. And then, after he retired, started opening about what happened during his life and as a football player, you know, it's really someone that, that's there for, for us, you know. Yeah, for yeah, us, literally yeah. for us in this team. You're right, yeah. Bouf, I put Kante. Yeah, hey, Kante up there, you yeah. know, okay. Polo Kante, sure. hey, humble, dr still driving his mini. Yeah. Always, every time you go on Twitter, oh, we found Kante in my house eating couscous or whatever, you know, <laughs> like random things. And the guy will be really in prep, Champions League, World Cup and everything. Right next to him, Zinedine Zidane, Kurt Hero, you know, the bull head. Uh, black, black Blanc Bear, 1998, you know, like union, united, united everyone with just a couple head in against Brazil. I like it. I loved you, it. Okay. Fair enough, playing against your team. It's my team, isn't it? Then I put Frank Lampard. Hey, Frank Lampard. Oh, Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. You know, <laughs> when he was 17, 18, Harry Redknapp was like, this guy here, yeah, he's going to be the best midfielder in the world. This guy here is a player. He's a player, you know, a player, you know. And he showed that. Greatest midfielder that ever existed, <laughs> highest top scorer. Okay. And who doesn't want to be Lampard, man? Come on, man. 
I want to be Lampard. I, yeah. Yeah, I, don't want I want to be Lampard, man. He's so chill. He's a baller. Every time in the box, he's like this. <laughs> you see Lampard every time in the box like this. Then up front, yeah, I have to go with Troy Dini. Or oh, Dini. Yeah. His life is insane, yeah, you know. No, oh, Troy Dini. Troy Dini, you know. He's got a crazy life. Yeah. Bro. Dini! He, exactly. He's sent to, he's sent to Watford, went to prison, came back to play really? with Watford. Yeah, bro! Went to, went, came back from, you know. Did the same thing against Leicester, yeah. Did some spells, some great goals uh, with Watford. And then he beat Addiction as well. Like, this guy got a great, like, insane That's story. He's a hero. Story. We should all look up to him, honestly. Big time. And then right next to him, I put Didier Drogba. Hey, come on. Hey, late bloomer. Uh, like, 27. At 27 years old, he's still in the Chelsea, you know. 27. And come on, man. He stopped a whole civil war, bro, in 2005, bro. People don't talk about that, you know. You see what I'm saying? Can you imagine Stop, stopping a whole civil a war? A whole civil war with football. Because he, put, he took Ivory Coast to the World Cup. He was like, guys, he went on his knee. Guys, stop the war. And they stopped the war, bro. Drogba, cult hero. Everyone bro. went, yeah, what did he? We love, love, love Drogba. I don't know, man. I feel like your, your whole team filled with legends. You're heroes, bro. You want to be like them. And then after that, I put <sighs> Ronaldinho. Ah, Ronaldinho, man. Uh, we, he's my hero because he made me understand what football is all about. We love football because of Ronaldinho. You love football because of Ronaldinho. The first million views, the first, yeah. like, it was the, like, how can, how can I tell you? Very marketable guy, you know, ah. with a smile and everything, even though he played for PSG. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Don't but, you that. know, like, this is a guy that, ugh, I don't know, man. He saved a lot of people by bringing them into the sport. That's what yeah, man. my hero. That's my 11. They are, by definition, cult heroes. That's Just my, bigger yeah. cults. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, That's I guess cult. so. I guess so. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, in goal, Jersey Dudek. Jersey right. Dudek. This guy Fine. was okay. such a vital player for Liverpool's 2005 Champions League final. Yeah. Not because the penalty save at Shevchenko, uh, uh, from Shevchenko, but because the double save he'd done in extra time from Shevchenko. Honestly, mm. this guy, Shevchenko, shot the ball. Saved it, it went down. He was right there, he was literally open goal and still saved it. I've got a back, I've got a back three. Yeah. Uh, Eric Abidal, yeah. Per Mertesacker, and Ricardo Carvalho. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Per Mertesacker, over 150 appearances for, for Arsenal, three nice. FA Cups. A hero, though. He's a cult hero, of course he is, man. Yeah, okay. And then Ricardo Carvalho, man. This yeah. guy done the dirty work at Chelsea. He did. Unfortunately, he did. unfortunately, John Terry took the credit. I don't know why. Oh, why? We don't know. Man. No respect. No respect. It's English that. bias thing. Literally. Um, and obviously, you know, the infamous stomp on Rooney, uh, Rooney stomp on him. Yeah. He did come out and say that it was by accident, which is nice, but still, come on, he milked it a bit. <laughs> why did he get, why, why couldn't he just get up and say, you know, it was fine? <laughs> and Eric Abidal, you know, what he's been through, yeah, he's facts. actually a hero, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, Marquisio. Mar Marquisio from Juventus. Yeah. Santi Cazorla. Yeah. Dirk Kout and Blasiskowski. What? what? Yes, bro. Uh, what on? Yes, what yes. On? Santi yeah, Cazorla. Go okay, go ahead. This guy. Cazorla, yes. Santi Cazorla, mm. elegance, man. Mm. Left foot, right foot. Arsenal no fans problem. love him. Mm. It, he would Everyone easily, loves him. He would easily be a legend if it wasn't for injuries. Yep. Unfortunately, injuries held him back. Is he better than, would he be better than Thiago if he wasn't injured probably, all the time? Probably. Debate, I don't know, man. And obviously, let's not forget probably the best unveiling in, in world football. When he when Villarreal unveiled him with a you know with a magician with a magician in the tube, oh, man. Marquisio, I'll never honestly, he would overhead kick against Udinese, 60th minute. Nice. I'll never forget that. Mm. So uh, I think it was a Juve player kick kick kicked the ball, deflected it went up, boom overhead kick 60th minute mm. and won it won the game man. Not bad. Come on, come on, Dirk out this guy. What does Dirk out mean? Treat. This guy. This guy, I love him. With all I kind of get it, you know. Dirk Kout scored the latest goal in Premier League history. <laughs> 110th minute penalty. Imagine ah. against Arsenal ah. at the Emirates. Ooh. Ice in the veins, mate. Ice in the veins. And, and, and scored the penalty to kick Chelsea, to kick Chelsea out of the, of the Champions League final. Champions League semi-final, sorry, in 2007. Ice in the veins, man. Ice in the veins. A hero, eh? And then I've got Blasikovsky. Mm. Player. He's loved by Dortmund fans. Mm. Absolutely loved. Was in the team that won the Bundesliga two years in a row. Nice. Polish player of the year. And the streets won't forget his FIFA card, man. Facts. Oh, yo. He was OP. OP. <laughs> he was OP, bro. Up top. I'm going to go up top. This, is, this guy's borderline legend. But for me, because he came on the bench too, so many times, he's cult hero. Solskjaer. Yeah. Solskjaer. He's definitely a cult hero. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure whether, you know, United fans would pick him as a legend. They but, you know, obviously, yeah, yeah. he was massive, massive... Uh, 
massive player in that 1999 he's uh, a legend. He's a legend. Uh, treble, mm. uh, scoring the last second goal mm. against Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. You know, he, he, he scored four goals coming off the bench against Nottingham Forest in an 8-1 win. <laughs> eight ones. Four goals. <laughs> four, eight yeah, four yeah. goals. Yeah, but everyone was scoring, bro. Don't worry, it's training session, bro. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah. Berbatov. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, best first touch in Premier League history. Yes. Who? Who? I don't know, like Matt Letizia or someone. Nah, like not for me. Mate. Eden Hazard. No, just leave it. Leave okay, no. it out. <laughs> yes, I don't mind it. And then Divock Origi. Divock Origi is His the man. Definition. He's the man that started it all for the club in the in the club era. For him, if, if for that Barcelona game mm. where he scored the two goals last corner taken quickly, Origi, that is when that's when the club era started. For me, that's when we won the Champions League because we already mentally beaten Tottenham in that. And that's that for me, that vital pivotal point in that in that club era is when it all started. Mm. Because if if we didn't win that game, it would have been another another season with Klopp, another trophyless season. So no, Divock Origi changed all of that. Very interesting. Very interesting, you live in. Oh you, like you, you ready? Yeah, Cult yeah, yeah, heroes. Ready for you. Wow. Okay. Uh, Divock Origi, by the way. Yeah, man. I yeah, do. big shout. I like it. So, right, my 11. I'll do this properly. Have you heard of Ludo Mikloshko? Legendary Czech goalkeeper between 90 and 98. Yeah, this man. We still sing his name at West Ham every week. Every week, bro. Do you oh. know what that's like? Bro, it's 2022. <laughs> still sing his name every week. You get me? Nice. My name is Ludo Mikoshko. I come from near Moscow. I'm <laughs> playing goal for West Ham. West Ham! Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Do you get me? So Ludo Mikoshko is in goal. I accept that. The big Czech boy. At left back, Fabio Grosso. Okay. Fabio Grosso, World Cup semi-final, 2006. Mm -mm. Wow. Semi-final against Germany. Scores that curler. Beautiful, beautiful goal in one of the most tense semi-finals I've ever seen, and also the winning kick against France in the pens. Jeez. Fabio Grosso got awarded uh, the Medal of Italian Merit, I believe I have written here, mm. uh, which is the highest honour an Italian can receive. There you go. That's, that's good. Cult hero. Bam. Olaf Melberg, Aston Villa. Yeah. You know about Olaf Melberg? You don't know about Olaf Melberg. Good seven-year stint, big Swedish centre-back. All right, he just bought in. Bought into the Villa thing, hated Birmingham. Cool, you're in. Mm. And uh, <laughs> on his last game, got all the away fans in the uh, Villa section, the t-shirt saying, thank you for your support. We love Olaf Milberg. Big cult hero. All right. I have Robert Huth. Cheers. Robert Huth. Uh, stints Oof. at Chelsea and Leicester, of course. Famously, this man has three Premier Leagues. Yeah, but more importantly, leagues. was in that infamous, incredible back line. Danny Simpson, Christian Fuchs, yeah. Wes Morgan, Robert Huth. You can't write it like that. When asked about how did this back line win the Premier League, i.e. you lot are kind of pony, Premier how'd you do that? Winners, he replied, Kante. Gee. <laughs> Listen, that Leicester, that Leicester team was just, it was one in the million. Yeah, that's it really my list, isn't it? There you go. And right back, you know what? Yeah, for right back in my Cult Heroes 11, I've gone for Trent. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Oh, fuck. I've gone for Trent. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I've got to give this man his flowers. This man, mm. at 20, has played 38 games. Corner taken quickly. Corner taken. Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup. Yes. Mm -hmm. The man's only 24. Mm -hmm. He is a Scouse lad who has created a legacy at Liverpool. Mm. Come on, man. Boy, You've got to respect this. it. You've got to just take a step back. He's already a legend. He's yeah. actually already 100%. a legend. How many people do this? Just, it's just people hating right now. Yeah, That's yeah. Why. People aren't getting it. So, in a vacuum, Trent, legend. Here we go, to my midfield. Tim Cahill. Oh, okay. Tim Cahill, okay. yeah, buying it. Real cult hero. Loved at Millwall, loved at Everton. Hilariously good goal scoring midfielder. Weirdly good with his head. Oh. Mm. Aussie guy, hard work merchant. You can't not like him. Conic you know celebration. I mean? uh, age 21, 43 games played for Millwall. Ooh. Age 23, he had an injury season in 22. Uh, age 22. Yeah, we'll forget that. Age 23, mm. 40 games for Millwall, nine goals, five assists. And the next move to Everton continues on the same trajectory. Loved by everyone. Probably. Doing all the Probably. right stuff. Yeah. Timmy Cahill. Yeah, yeah. Can't not love that Aussie boy. Mm. Nah. Yeah? Buying it. 100%. Buying what I'm selling. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> he's, he's an Everton fan. Forget he's an Everton footballer. Right? And then oh, this guy, I just... He was aerial threat. Let's just say he's an aerial He threat. certainly he was. was. He was. 
He didn't get many goals and assists, but this man, he was so nice, they named him twice. JJ Okocha. Hey. My boys, I've got JJ Okocha. What do I have on JJ Okocha? Uh, just super eagle heritage, man. Just made the difficult things look very, very easy. Um, and he went from PSG to Sam Allardyce's Bolton. <laughs> what a move. What a move, bro. <laughs> what a move. Do you know what I mean? Big Sam, get him in. How has this man played for Bolton? I couldn't understand it then, even though I was a kid. I didn't really understand things. But I also understood, <laughs> why is this man playing for Bolton? It's a real midfield. But it is what it is. It didn't yeah, make sense yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, it should don't make sense midfield. now. So there you go. And I've got Valderrama. Carlos Valderrama. Hey. There you go. The definition of a cult hero. This man, iconic blonde curly hair, South American Footballer of the Year in 87, 93 and 99. Hey. 111 caps for... Give me the chance and I might be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What a player. What a player, man. Over 100 caps for Colombia. Can't do that, man. Crazy. There you go. Cult hero. Mm. Icon. Bam. And then up top, my people, I have got Roberto Baggio. Okay. Baggio, eh? Okay, okay, okay. This man played for six Serie A clubs. That's over a quarter of the league. You know how funny that is? And he's still revered. He scored 198 goals in 419 games. Whoa. Across Syria. Played for Fiorentina, Juve, Milan, Bologna, Inter and Brescia. Oh, yeah. He was getting to the end of his stint, yeah. Basically, he had two rough years between, uh, before Euro 2000. Yeah. He had two rough years, effectively scored like 10 goals over mm. two years. And uh, every Italian was fuming that he didn't get uh, included in the, Including in the in squad. squad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how good you have to be? That's pretty mad, isn't it? Football Cult hero status, certified. Up uh, next, do you know about Sean Gota? Who's there? Who? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let me tell you about Sean Gota. Feed the goat and he will score. Man City, 98 and 2003. Between that era, yeah. Man City end up getting relegated to Division 3. Three? Sean Gota, who has effectively just come in, a little bit before that, but he's just come in, fires them, back-to-back -back promotions, back up to the Premier League. This man ends up with over 100 goals for Man City. Ends up scoring in the Manchester derby uh, in the 2002 free season against Man United. They beat him 3-1. This guy nicks the ball off Gary Neville on the byline, scores, barely celebrates. Celebrated like a geezer who's like bossing. Like vein. a puss man, he's just doing his job, isn't it? Just mate. doing his job. Ice geezer, vein. just barely celebrate. Feed the goat and he'll score. This man is the definition of a Man City cult hero. Do you know what I mean? You won't know him, but feed the goat and he'll score, innit? I like how, how times have changed at City. There you go. And my last one, Brian McBride. <laughs> Okay, tell us. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us, tell us, because you need to justify that one. Go ahead. You know about Brian McBride? The definition of a cult hero. This man was the face of American soccer, yeah, for football, effectively football, his, football, whole, football, football, for his whole life. Maybe they put it in American whole time. There, bro. Football, please. Yeah, they'll call, they'll call it soccer, innit? So I'll do yeah, whatever they need well, to we're do. We're not in America. Uh, this man walked, so Pulisic and them man could. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's what I'm saying. And uh, more importantly, he just did it, man. He just did it. He just paved the way. Between 2006 and 2008, played 34, game, or 34 games in each season. Fulham scored nine goals in each. Came here, the big American guy, loved the header, hard work merchant. Brian McBride, the people loving USA, USA, <laughs> yeah, USA. And that, my people, is the definition of a cult hero. Brian McBride, ladies and gents. <laughs> Boom. How do you feel about that? I mean... Uh... We've got cult heroes. This guy just forgot the memo and chose. <laughs> I, I got cult heroes. The viewers knows that we, I got cult. Yeah, we've yeah. got cult all heroes. of the guys that this have. Guy, oh, hey. my, yeah, you know listen, they put their stamp on the era, oh, bro. He didn't even choose legends like Loki. Don't worry. This don't guy worry chose about it. Don't worry about it. Big time legends. Bro, just don't worry about that, guys. Let us know who's. 11 you enjoyed the most and uh, yeah just rank them for us and we'll see who's number three in it realistically <laughs> <laughs> your cult heroes 11 on build my 11 right here on the front three you can't write it you could but it'd be very hard <laughs>